Now let's talk about the Heart of Dallas Bowl pitting Washington Huskies versus Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Let's start with the Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles, honestly, I didn't know anything about them before I started doing research for this video. However, when I did start looking into them, man, I really like this football team, especially offensively. This offense is a spread offense that is a horizontal pass driven offense. I've expressed distaste for a horizontal passing offense, but this is the way that a horizontal passing offense should be built like. They throw the ball side to side to get the defense flowing side to side and worrying about the horizontal pass game to set up shots up the seam, shots over the middle, shots deep downfield, and they open up running games. They use the play action very, very well, and that's a big part because they have 2,000 yard running backs. This is a dynamic football team. They don't have a true superstar player that can just change the game, take over the game for him and just screw a whole team over by themselves. But this is a very, very good, well-oiled offense, really good scheme. The problem with this scheme that I'm worried about is their offensive coordinator just took a job at ASU. However, their head coach is an offensive mind. So the question becomes, is this the head coach's offense or was it the offensive coordinator's offense? And honestly, I don't know enough to say one way or another, but this offense looks very good. The quarterback has room to grow and could probably get better when this offense struggles, it's because he turns the ball over. Defensively, this team runs a 4-3 cover two defense. They aren't super aggressive. They will mix in some zone blitzes, but when their backs are against the wall and it's crunch time, typically they run like a man under cover two. It's not a great defense. They don't get to the quarterback very fast. They aren't super tight coverage. They aren't the best tacklers. This is probably a below average defense. Definitely the weakness of this team from what I've seen. It's not a super strong defensive unit, but it's okay because their offense is so strong. It puts this defense in a lot of good positions. Now let's talk about the Washington Huskies. Offensively, they run a multiple offense. They line up in the pistol a lot, shotgun a lot. They'll take a lot of snaps under center. They mix it up with a lot of different formations, a lot of different plays out of each formation. This is a probably a very big playbook and they can mix it up and attack you in multiple different ways. However, they're not very strong at many positions. The wide receiving core is, man, the offensive line, uninspiring. They have a true freshman quarterback that looks like a very good true freshman quarterback, but still a freshman quarterback. If you were going to go strength for this offense, it would definitely be the running back position where they have another true freshman in Gatson. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. But he's an explosive, small, scat back type guy that can take over a game and change it with big plays frequently. But really overall, this isn't a good offensive unit. It's probably a below average, at times even a bad offensive unit. Definitely not the strength of this football team. The strength of this football team is their defense. They run a hybrid defense. They're super aggressive. They're blitz happy. They run a lot of zone blitzes. They'll run man cover blitzes. They are aggressive and ultra good. I love this defense. This is a defensive unit that just puts their throat on teams. They don't let you breathe. They don't let you get an inch. They are not a bend, don't break defense. This defense takes over games and it beats the crap out of teams. This is a very good defensive unit that allows something like 17 yard, I mean, 17 points per game. They've got playmakers in the secondary. Buda Baker is super good. They've got a good pass rushing unit. They've got a good tackling unit. This is a sound, disciplined, aggressive, athletic, 
talented defense that is scary as hell. The matchups for this game. You've got an elite, elite defense versus a very good, very creative, very fun offense. And both of these teams are going to take a shot at each other. It's very fun and a much better matchup than what I had given it credit for earlier. However, I do still believe what I said in my bowl primer video. Washington is hot right now and there's a lot of excitement coming from it and it's an incredibly well coached football team. And I still feel like they were going to beat the crap out of almost anybody that they would match up against. And sadly, Southern Miss drew the short straw in this game because I think that they're still probably going to get their butts kicked because I, I just feel that way. I just feel like Washington's going to kick the crap out of anybody that they play. And Ole Miss is sadly that team, but I'm going to keep a much closer eye on Southern Miss next year because this is a hot team that I really like. They're a fun football team, and it'll be fun to keep a closer eye on them next year. But my pick is Washington, and honestly, I don't think it's going to be that close.